Basic life support. Basic life support consists of the following steps. Make sure you, the victim, and any bystanders are safe. Check the victim for a response. Gently shake his shoulders and ask loudly, Are you alright? Do not use a painful stimulation. If he does not respond, shout for help and turn the victim onto his back and then open the airway. The most common cause of airway obstruction is that the tongue falls backwards and obstructs the airway. The tongue is connected to the jaw and the position is dependent on the tension of the masseter muscle. If one is conscious or even asleep, the airway is patent. If the patient is unconscious, muscle tension decreases. The lower jaw collapses and the tongue may obstruct the airway. The most simple maneuver to open the airway is head tilt and chin lift. Both hands must be used. One on the forehead, the second on the chin. If you see an apparent foreign body or loose dentures, remove them. The case of foreign body aspiration will be demonstrated in another video. The next step is control of breathing. Keep their airway open, look, listen and feel for normal breathing. Lean over the face of the victim and look for chest movements. Place your ear close to the victim's mouth to listen for breath sounds and feel for expired air on your cheek. If he is breathing normally, the color of the skin is usually pink. Call an ambulance and monitor the patient. Now we demonstrate normal and pathological breathing. This is normal breathing, at least two breaths in 10 seconds. This is a type of pathological breathing, gasping, which presents in the early phases of cardiac arrest in nearly 40% of victims and is an indication for immediate initiation of CPR. Important. Do not confuse this with normal breathing. In this patient, who is unconscious and under general anesthesia, we demonstrate the situation where you can see intensive chest movements, but her airways are obstructed. This is a life-threatening situation and airways must be opened by head tilt and chin lifted as soon as possible. This person is not breathing and CPR must be started. Look, listen and feel for no more than 10 seconds to determine whether the victim is breathing normally. Checking the pulse on large vessels is not done routinely. Unconsciousness and absence of normal breathing are indication enough for starting CPR. Send someone for help, or if you are on your own, leave the victim and alert the ambulance service. In the Czech Republic, call 155 or less conveniently 112. Switch the phone to a loud mode if possible. Consider the use or availability of defibrillator AED, according to the device or the dispatcher. Return and start chest compressions. For adults receiving chest compressions, rescuers should place their hands on the lower half of the sternum. Place the heel of one hand in the center of the chest with the other hand on top. This should limit the risk of artificial rib fractures. With your arms straight and elbows locked, press down hard on sternum depressing it by 5 to 6 centimeters. This enables artificial circulation of the blood for vital organs, lungs, heart and brain. Do not apply any pressure over the upper abdomen or the bottom end of the bony sternum. After each compression, release all the pressure on the chest without losing contact. Repeat at the rate of at least 100 per minute and no more than 120 per minute. Compression and release should take equal amounts of time. If there is no risk for performing artificial ventilation, combine chest compressions with rescue breath. After 30 compressions, open the airway again using head tilt and chin lift. Generally, one can perform two types of artificial breathing. Mouse-to-mouse -mouse ventilation. Pinch the soft part of the nose closed using the index finger and thumb of your hand on the forehead. Allow the mouth to open, but maintain chin lift. Take in a normal breath and place your lips around his mouth, making sure that you have a good seal. Blow steadily into the mouth while watching for the chest to rise. Take in another normal breath and blow into the victim's mouth once more. 
to achieve a total of two effective rescue breaths. Then return your hands without delay to the correct position on the sternum and give a further 30 chest compressions. For mouth to nose ventilation, place the lips around the victim's nose and close his mouth with the thumb placed on the chin. One should uncover his mouth during the expiration phase and open the mouth of the patient. His chest falls down automatically and expiration is done. Continue with chest compressions and rescue breath in a ratio of 30 to 2. After each two breaths, return your hands without delay to the correct position on the sternum and give a further 30 chest compressions. Do not attempt more than two breaths each time before returning to chest compressions. Stop to check the victim only if he starts breathing normally. Otherwise, we do not interrupt resuscitation. If there is more than one rescuer present, another should take over CPR every one to two minutes to prevent fatigue. Ensure the minimum of delay during the changeover of rescuers. The recovering rescuer may maintain the airway of the patient during chest compressions and thus rescuers can alternate. Continue resuscitation until qualified help arrives and takes over. The victim starts breathing normally or a rescuer becomes exhausted. 